In the seventh inning stretch at the Los Angeles Coliseum last night, 115,000 people sang, take me out to the ball game. It was during an exhibition game between the Dodgers and the Red Sox. It was the largest crowd ever at a major league game. And as baseball begins its new season, a fitting tribute to a song now celebrating its 100th birthday. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. It's the song everybody sings, although not everybody sings it well. The one is featured at ballparks from coast to coast. In New York, Paul Cartier is at the organ for the Yankees. So do you play Take Me Out to the Ball Game at every single game? Every game. Seventh inning. Un-American if we didn't. 100 years it's been around. How many things in our tradition, our culture, have carried on for this many years? Robert Thompson and Andy Strasberg are two of the authors of a new book about Take Me Out to the Ball Game. From little kids to old people, everyone knows the chorus. You could say Strasberg is a little obsessed. He's a former baseball executive who's collected hundreds of versions, starting with the record he got when he was six. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. And Thompson runs the Baseball Music Project, conducting baseball songs with orchestras around the country. He's a music professor at Purchase College in New York. The feel of it, that's really old. That's the original 1908 sheet music. Albert von Tilzer wrote the music, Jack Norworth the words. Norworth, by the way, is also known for writing Shine On, Harvest Moon. Jack Norworth um, was married to Nora Bays, who was a very famous vaudeville singer. And Jack Norworth and Nora Bays were the Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt of their time. They were celebrities uh, throughout New York. How did Take Me Out to the Ball Game come to be? Well, Norworth claimed he wrote it on the subway after seeing a sign for a ball game at New York's old polo grounds. One problem, he didn't come up with that story until 1958, 50 years later. I think he figured that this is going to be a lot sexier to talk about how the song came about in the subway of New York as opposed to sitting in an office in Tin Pan Alley. And it turns out, Take Me Out to the Ball Game isn't so much about baseball at all. It actually starts out with a verse about a girl. The song is about a girl named Katie Casey. Uh, most people know the refrain, they don't know the verse, and the verse is about this girl who doesn't want her beau to take her to fine restaurants or the opera. She didn't want to go any place but to the ballpark, and Katie Casey was baseball mad. In 1927, Norworth changed the roster, coming out with a new version starring Nellie Kelly. We found that even the Yankee organist Paul Cartier didn't know no, the full story. Uh, I wasn't even aware there was a verse. The one that I heard is... Nellie Kelly loved baseball games, loved the players and all of their names. And get this, the songwriters weren't really baseball fans at all. Albert Von Tilzer, Jack Norworth had never been to a game. So the two people that wrote the most famous song about the sport had a passing interest in it. Actually, it wasn't even in ballparks, but in movie theaters where the song first became popular. While the film reels were changed, they'd project so-called magic lantern slides and encourage the audience to sing along. Take me out to the ball game. Take Me Out to the Ball Game became a number one hit. The Marx Brothers used it to disrupt high society in A Night at the Opera. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. It was the basis for a 1949 movie with Frank Sinatra and Gene Kelly. Root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. It was not until the 1970s that the song exploded once again on the baseball scene. And it had to do with Harry Carey and the Chicago White Sox. With the White Sox and then the Cubs, announcer Harry Carey made the song his signature, singing it during the seventh inning stretch. After Carey died 10 years ago, the Cubs continued the tradition with guest singers. So what exactly makes this 100-year-old song still so popular? 
it's not easy to write a song that 50,000 people can sing together at one time and sing it well. I mean, we struggle with a national anthem. It's got a very wide range to it. But Take Me Out to the Bowl Game all fits within an octave. It's eminently singable by a large group of people. And they do these days at every major league ballpark. It seems there'll always be a place in the lineup for Take Me Out to the Ball Game. And then change it to the right. It's one of those musical notes, if you will, that immediately transports you to the ballpark. And if you're at the ballpark, you're having a good time. Simple enough. You and I could have written that. <laughs> you could have written that. <laughs>